everybody and welcome back to another episode of our villager profession house tutorials how is everybody doing oh man we're almost done with our villager profession houses we've done everything so far except the last two today we're going to be working on that cauldron and making a leather worker shop but if you guys want to check out any of the previous builds we've done in the past there's a link in the description but just in case let me show you what we've done so far here's the farmer the fisherman the librarian the shepherd the cleric the armorer, the fletcher, the cartographer, the weaponsmith, the stonemason, and the butcher. All right, and here we go with the dimensions. So count out the blocks, they're all set up here in wool. Wherever you see the logs, we're gonna put some strip spruce logs in those corner bits. Down here, this is gonna be almost like a little main warehousing area, sleeping quarters over here on this side. This is gonna be an outside area workstation, so you can do all the leather working. And then back here, we're gonna have a small uh, little cow pen. It's gonna be also open to the outside. The materials are simple. We're going with the same materials we've been going for the whole uh, series here. This is our Plains Biome Village. Going with just the basic stuff, some stone brick, some cobble, some stone, and a bunch of spruce. All right, so we're gonna start right here on this back corner. We're gonna do the main structure, which is here. We're gonna do those outside bits after. So let's count this out. So right from this corner, we're gonna go up with strip spruce. We're gonna go up by six. So right here, it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're gonna give it a space of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Right here, we're going up again by six. Give this another space of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, up here by six. And another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up by six. All right, now that we have these logs in place, we're gonna be lifting up some stone in between all of these pillars in this middle nine by nine box. We're gonna go up one, two, three, four, five, just up to the fifth one. For this smaller one, we're just gonna go up one, two, three, and four. So let's lift all this up all the way around in stone. All right, our stone brick is up. We're gonna do a little bit of texturing in a second, but next thing we're gonna do, let's do some cross beams right here on the top area. We're gonna just cross all of these really quick. All right, now that we have the cross beams in place, let's go ahead and open up a door here. It's gonna go right on this section. Let's knock down one, two, and three. Let's put an upside down stair right here. And then we also have a little spot for a door right on this edge. It's gonna put an, uh, a stair upside down facing this direction and cover that up. Now that we're on the inside, we can do a little bit of texturing. So let me do this really quickly. I'm gonna add a little bit of cobble. No, mostly the cobble is gonna be towards the bottom. And then we're also gonna be adding a little bit of regular stone. And we're just gonna be just giving it just a little bit of texture. All right, there you go. You got a little bit of texturing looking really really awesome we'll add the windows after but for right now let's continue here to the little side section here we're gonna have an open feel workstation so for this one I'm gonna go back with our log right here on this line and just go up one two three and four I'm gonna give it a space of one two three four five up by four as well we're gonna turn this corner there's a space of one two three four five up by four and then again go all the way to the end and let's go up by four now we can go ahead and just get rid of this part for now now back on this section let's go ahead and extend this bit one one, two, three, four, and on the fifth, we're gonna go also up by four. So one, two, three, and four. Give it a space of one, two, three, four, five, up by four over here. And then we can get rid of this bottom bit. All right, now it's time to work on the roof. So actually, let's start right on the small one here. We're gonna be going with our spruce. We're just gonna go down here. One, two, three, four, and five. Come back this direction right from here. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's go with some upside down stairs on each side and just go with a simple step pattern roof just to get to the center bit. Once we get to the center, we're gonna put a little upside down stair and we're gonna put a slab on top. Then we're just gonna connect up going all the way to the back and it should meet up perfectly right at this line to stop right there. Then just continue here, fill this little bit out and we're good to go here. Now for this one, we're gonna come with our stairs right on this edge, overhanging that bit and take it all the way down and it should connect perfectly to that bit. And then let's connect this one and overhanging this end. So then really super simple, we're gonna go with another simple step pattern to get to the center. And then we're gonna have a little bit more detail on, on the center bit. So let's just get to that. We're gonna go right to the middle, which should be this line right here, upside down stair at this point and a slab on top. Then we're just gonna come back down with it. So all the way down, just like so. This should go right to this edge, overhanging this bit on this corner. And we should stop right there for now. Then let's come back to this corner and repeat the same roof style over here. All right, and there we go. We got it mirrored from one side to the next. Now, super simple. We're just gonna fill it all in with spruce, just uh, stairs from one side to the next. 
All right, there you go. We got the roof in place. It's looking very, very simple. We're going to break it up, make it look a little bit more rustic, though. But for right now, it's looking pretty good. Now, next thing I want to do, let's fill in this gap here. I want to change the texture up a little bit. Let's go with some oak, some oak log and some oak plank. So let's go with a little bit of a Tudor style. Let's put an uh, oak log right here. Let's take another log on this side. Every other one gets a log until we get down to there. Then let's grab our planks and let's just cover this whole bit up just like so. Then let's repeat this on the other side. There you go, repeat it on the other side. Now let's work on the roof for this little outside workstation. So right here, we're gonna go grab our stair, take it all the way down again. We're gonna also overhang this bit, do the same thing over here. Let's take our stairs and let's take it all the way down. Once we do this part, we're gonna make the simple step roof pattern that we've been doing, but this is not gonna have anything on the bottom. We're gonna have this all open. Um, we might be sealing it up a little bit uh, just so we can have a little bit more security in here, but uh, really simple. We're just gonna do this roof pattern right there. Grab our slab, put that in the middle, and then just fill in the caps. All right, there we go. We got the roof in place for the workstation. Now to give a little bit more support, I'm gonna put a beam right here on this edge. And then right here in the middle, I'm gonna go with our same little tutor style we've been doing, but uh, right in this part so let's go with the oak here and a plank and an oak plank right there just to keep that theme going all right now it's time for this little back roof here for this one we're gonna go with slabs only so let's actually take it down right at this level let's go ahead and bring this slab all the way down to here we're gonna double slab it another double another double and a single one right here connecting to the edge of that stair we're gonna take this all the way down and do the same thing so double slabs till we get to the center right there we're touching that stair and then just connect the rest and there you go we got the connection on the outside now for the additional details let's go under here we're going to put slabs every other one going down like so trap doors in the gaps and we're going to do this all around here so let's go right here from this corner slabs going all the way down and then trap doors in the gaps now let's put this all the way around to add that little bit of extra detail on the roof all right now that we have these details in place i added this little bit of stone here just to cover up that part of the wall but now let's add some more details to the top here so i want to add almost like a little bit of a ventilation system over here just so uh whatever's happening down there is a little bit of room to breathe in here so right here in the center we're just going to knock down these one two three four five let's knock down just these five right here really super simple i'm going to do a little cross beam here cross beam here with our oak and then another cross beam on this corner and a cross beam on this corner something super simple just like this then let's lift this log up we're going to go up just really simple by three so one two three three on this side three in every corner just like so then in the middle here we're just going to grab some of our spruce stairs let's go upside down right here one two and three we're going to go over here as well one two and three and then we're going to cover this up with some planks one on each side just like so over here we're going to grab some fences some spruce fences and we're just going to go down right here one two and three three on this side just like so and then right on this end we're going to go ahead and grab our log again cross beam on this side cross beam on every top side right there giving us that little ventilation there, which is cool. And then we're gonna grab our stairs and we're gonna go down right here, overhanging this bit, going all the way down like so, overhanging this bit as well, matching what we did on the other side. And then we're gonna go with some upside down stairs in a simple step pattern to get to the center. Then we're gonna go with a slab right there, repeating this over here on this side, super simple step pattern. And then with our slab on top, and then just connect this bit, connect the slab on this side and do the same thing over here. So we have just a little bit of detail here on the top bit, which is cool. Then underneath here, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put slabs every other one, trap doors in the gaps right there. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So we're gonna go with slabs every other one, trap doors in the gaps, just like that. Now to give it a little bit more detail, I'm gonna pop these corner bits out. Then we're gonna go down on the bottom here. We're gonna put a placeholder block and a log in its place. So we're gonna put another placeholder block in here and a log in its place. Then we're gonna grab some stairs and put those on the side. And it just adds a little bit more support. And then just repeat it over here on this end. And there we go. Another little thing you could do is right here, we have a little bit of a gap right in place here. I could put another little fence there and we could put another little fence over here. This adds more for that ventilation. Now to make this look even cooler, I'm gonna break up this roof by just replacing some of these with some full blocks, some slabs, make it a little bit more rustic. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to, you can keep it clean, just like we did at the beginning, but I'm gonna do this just to make it look a little cooler. 
All right, there it is, looking really rustic, and I love that look. We have little bits of slabs, we have some full blocks, we even have some trap doors to break up uh, this back end, and it looks really, really cool. So it's up to you guys if you really wanna use that little bit of a trick to make it look a little bit more broken. We can even go a little bit more right here. Why not, let's add that there. Perfect, now, another little thing I wanna do is right here, a little bit more detail. I wanna put uh, uh, like a little bit of, uh, of a trim here to separate this area. So really quick, just with slabs, every other one, and then a trap door in the gaps we missed, and that gives you a nice little, uh, smooth transition from this log to that little Tudor style. Now let's do a little window here. I want to pop out these right here, this little three by two. Let's go ahead and put a couple upside down stairs, one on this side, one on that side. So we have a cool little window. I'm going to put two upside down stairs though on this end. Let's grab some gates over here. I'm going to put uh, some fence gates right on those stairs. So one here, one on this side. I'm going to grab a campfire block and let's grab some water really quick and let's put this on the top. So right here, we're going to go with one and two. Then Another thing we want to do is let's grab some trap doors. I'm going to go right here on this edge. Let's put two trap doors here, two trap doors on this side. On the inside part, I'm going to go with another trap here and another trap door right over here. So I'm going to leave this as an open window, but you could definitely close it. Uh, another way you can do it would be to add another kind of trap door. Let's add the oak trap door. If you want the window closed, I'm going to use this almost as the window. And it looks really cool from the outside. There we go, and it looks like this from the outside, which looks pretty awesome. Over here, we're gonna leave this part open. I'm not gonna put any windows here as well. Here, we're gonna put a window, really super simple. One, two, and three, knock those down. Let's grab a stair, I'm gonna put that right there, and then we can grab just any kind of glass. Let's go with just regular or clear glass and drop those two on those corners here. Now for added detail, I want to do a little bit more. So let's grab uh, these two items right here. We're going to grab our stone brick and our stone stairs. And I'm going to give this place a little bit of a fortified trim. So right here, we're going to put a full block, a full block, a stair, and a stair facing inwards to there. We're going to go the same thing all the way around like so. Put our full blocks, put our stairs, and this is going to go pretty much all the way around to give a little bit more detail here. So let's go with another one on this corner. Let's go with another one here as well. So one and one, stair and stair. We're gonna go with two more right on this end and that should give us all the fortification we need. All right, now one little modification I wanna do, I actually wanna add another pillar here just to give a little bit more support on this edge. So right here on this corner, right next to these blocks we just placed down, let's put our pillar going all the way up, getting rid of that slab. Let's do another one over here as well. And then I'm gonna grab some fence and some fence gates. We're gonna go with fence, 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 all the way around every other one, and then gates in between, just like this. And we have our nice little animal pen over here that we could put our cows. All right, now jumping back to our workstation here, I wanna add a little bit more detail. Let's put some fences in every corner next to the beams, just like so. Then I wanna add a beam in the center right here and take this all the way down. From here, we can hang stuff. We can hang some leather or, or banners to make it look like leather. We'll do that in a second, but at least we have a little bit more detail to work with on the outside. Besides that, the building is done. The structure is complete. Everything is in place and it's looking awesome. Now it's just to add all the details, add the interior and make this place look a little bit more alive. So let's get this started. <laughs>
so hopefully you guys enjoyed the little time lapse of me doing the exterior and putting all the interior details here in our leather worker house. Let's take a flip. Oh, look at that. So last minute I added these posts out here just to add a little bit more lighting and also add some more hanging leather. Yes, brown banners make a really cool leather texture. So I have those all set up here. We have another one kind of popping out from this end as well. Really super simple, just some fencing uh, with the log popping out. Uh, and a little bit of trapdoor action. By adding these trapdoors, we could change the elevation where we have our um, our banners placed because you can't really put it down here you can put it down there but if you put the trapdoor you can literally put that banner up against the trapdoor which looks it looks really really cool now over here we have a couple more so one two and three little drying racks kind of uh also i added a little bit of a drying rack in here as well so our workstation is looking awesome we got a table in the middle uh we got some shears which i'm using to simulate that's what they use to you know to to, to cut the leather that's fine and then we've got a couple uh collagens over here wait where's our leather worker at there he is. <laughs> Look how awesome. So he's kind of stuck in here, but that's fine. There's the other guy. All right. So we got two leather workers hanging out. And don't worry, he likes it in there. That's kind of like a little bit of a makeshift bathtub for them. But that's totally cool. Uh, but I love this little spot here as well. The cross beams uh, up here, all the details with the chest, a couple of little flower pots in there for little, little added details. Just add so much to it. Uh, back here, we added some hay bales and also a couple cows here. Ready to get slaughtered. That's fine. Uh, it's PDA approved. Now, around the side here, we do have a bunch of more details here. We got some bushes. We got some tall grass, some ferns here, some flowers, and I really love this area. Look at this. Now, coming around here, let's go on the inside. For the inside, I decided to do a little bit of a separation over here. Uh, but on this side, we do have almost uh, like an extra bit of workstation goodness. And yes, I do know there's barrels. They can convert into fishermen. We've been, we've been through this. You don't have to use it. That's fine. You can use these instead. So boom, boom, boom. But if you already have your villagers uh, completely locked in their trades, you could add barrels. It wouldn't be a big a deal. Uh, let me put it back. Uh, but <laughs> I have these over here on the side. Uh, so this is a really cool little spot here. Just extra drying racks, extra sections here for them to do some leather work on the inside in case the outside weather is really, really bad. Got a couple beds here. A very simple uh, little sleeping area. Uh, extra workstation also on the inside. So we have one over here. Here, one on this side and then on the top it's pretty much almost like a little bit of a storage loft uh, I got the idea here to add uh, these little bit of trap doors here also just hanging some more leather got some trap doors over here for the little vent right there and then over here we get just a spot to keep all the extra bits uh, more cauldrons more barrels more chests more workstation goodness oh i love this place there it is that is all there is to it hopefully you guys enjoyed this this is so much fun to make we got one more left ready to go before it's all said and done is gonna be our blast furnace aka the toolsmith that's gonna be the last one it's gonna be a pretty cool blacksmith idea that i got but let me know what you guys think what is your favorite build so far and let me know who's hyped up we're gonna do a world download at the end hopefully you guys enjoy though thank you all so much for watching i'll catch you guys on the next episode and the last one of the plains biome <laughs>